It can use the Rotowire Fantasy Cricket Tools to win contests on Dream 11, Gully Cricket, Crick Duel, Fantane, and others. Uh, this is the Rotowire Cricket area. Uh, the first tool I usually start up is the lineups. So we're going to try and build some lineups uh, for uh, this Friday's uh, South Africa, Australia, uh, T20 International, uh, the first of their series uh, that's coming up. Um, this is the expected lineup. So based on reports and the history of how these teams uh, ha are forming their uh, squads, uh, this is the lineup, the starting uh, 11, uh, that we think is going to happen. Uh, down here are the players uh, that are not in the squad who've been ruled out uh, for injury. Uh, there's not a, they're not traveling or there's not a chance that they're going to play in this match. Um, and then when this, uh, when the starting uh, 11 is announced uh, before the toss, this player will be uh, updated immediately after the news comes out. So you can go here and, and confirm who's, who's actually in the match, which is obviously uh, very important. The next tool I like to use is the value report. The value report uh, lists all the players uh, that we think are expected that are going to play in the match, uh, and then looks at their data for uh, the fantasy contest site. In particular, this is Dream 11. Uh, these are the credits, uh, the, the amount of uh, credits that it takes to put uh, each player in your lineup on Dream 11. These are our projected fantasy points for the match. And then over here is the value, which is simply the fantasy points divided by the credits. And if you look at f for this match, and you sort by value, uh, this player is the top value. These two players are only eight credits, so uh, the second, third best value, they're, they look like good choices for your team. Uh, they're pretty inexpensive, so you can get some stars in there and get these players in as well. Um, and we offer the same value report for uh, all of these major providers as well. Gully Cricket, which is available in the U.S., Crick Duel in India, Fantane and Hal Blade in India as well. But the best uh, tool uh, that we utilize the most uh, for Fantasy Cricket is the Rotowire Lineup Optimizer. So for the Lineup Optimizer, uh, it's also available for all of these uh, Fantasy Cricket contest providers. And what it does, it takes our projections and the credits and each player's credits and it generates an optimal lineup. So for this Friday's match between Australia and South Africa, based on the credits, the projected points, and the position requirements, this is the optimal lineup. But you can do more with the optimizer than just get one optimal lineup based on our projections. You can do a number of ways to put your opinion into it as well. So, for example, the first thing you can do is with the fantasy points, if you don't agree with us, let's say that you think Steve Smith is going to score 50 points, you can edit his projection. The other thing you can do, and if we rerun the optimizer, we'll see if Steve Smith shows up in there. Suddenly now Steve Smith is uh, obviously in the lineup because we think he's going to have a great game. The other thing you can do is you can generate more than one lineup. So if you're going to do a grand league, you're going to enter multiple, league, multiple lineups. You can have to enter up to 150 lineups. Let's just do 10 here. It's clear. Start from scratch. We're going to do 10 lineups. Generate 10 lineups. And you'll see how the system generates 10 unique lineups. Steve Smith is obviously pretty prominent in every lineup since he's uh, projected to score 50 points. Uh, which would be the top option. Let's move them actually back down here to a more reasonable 40 points. We'll go up here. If you hit this clear button, it will save all your settings. Down here you can see Steve Smith still has 40 projected points, uh, but you can start from scratch. The other thing you can do is if you click on this button, it gives you some options. You can lock a player in, you can exclude a player, you can like a player. So if we like him, we like Steve Smith, we like Alex Carey, Let's see what some other players we like here. We like this player. We think he's a pretty good value. He's always a great bowler. And now when we run a lineup, it will boost the projections of the liked players, as you can see. And so then they're more likely to show up in your optimal lineup. And if you run multiple lineups, we've run five additional lineups here, you can see that 
they're more likely to show up in all of your lineups as well. So let's clear that build. And we'll come back and show you some other things you can do. The other thing you can do is you can lock in a player. So we want to make sure Alex, Alex Carey, he's inexpensive, he's a good value. We want him to be in every lineup. But then we want to have 10 lineups with that. So we're going to have 10 lineups. Alex Carey is going to be in every one. And then every lineup is going to be unique, but it's going to have more of these players that I like than others. So here's 10 crooked lineups for Dream 11 for a Grand League. And if you kind of go through these, you can see they're all unique. They've got different players. And they've got a lot of the players I like. And Alex Carey is in every single one. Let's go back up here. We'll clear. We'll start again. And instead of having him locked, let's exclude Alex Carey. Now we don't want Alex Carey in any lineups. We're getting 10 lineups for Dream 11 for a Grand League. And you can see that he's not in any lineup because he's been excluded. There's a tab here that shows all the players that are excluded and all the players that are locked. So if we just said we wanted to lock in David Warner on every lineup, this shows that he's locked. Let's unlock him and we'll, we'll bring back Alex Carey because he's too good a value not to have in our format. So let's clear this and start over. So now we've got some players that we like. We haven't locked in any players. Uh, one of the other things you can do is you have a number of options you can do as, as well. You could uh, have all these choices as sort of a starting point. So let's just say we want to have the uh, best all-rounder and bowler value plays, which is based on the uh, value I showed you before, our projection versus their credits for how much it costs to uh, put the player in Dream 11 in your lineup. You can generate that stack. Here's two stacks. I mean, if you really think South Africa is, is going to do well in this game, this might be a good stack to have. If you think Australia is going to do better, this might be a good stack. Uh, let's use this one. And generating 10 lineups, you can see that these players are locked into all of our lineups. And there's also the liked players as well. So now you've got 10 lineups that feature uh, the combination of the South African bowler and all-rounder that you think is going to do really well, South African as well, plus some other players that you like, you think are going to do very well in this match as well. You can also uh, limit players' exposure. This report here gives you a good report from these 10 lineups, how many players are in each lineup. Aaron Finch makes it into one. Um, and using this mechanism down here, you can limit the number of minimum or maximum uh, players that you have in, in each one. This is really helpful when you are going to do a lot of lineups. If, if you wanted to do like 50, 150 lineups, uh, this would be a way to ensure that you get some unique players in there. So in case uh, that maybe you don't think it, uh, is going to have do really well, but you want some exposure to them in case they happen to have a big game, or maybe you want to limit uh, some of the some of the chalk players, the star players, uh, and have them in, less, in fewer of your lineups. So that's the optimizer. It's a very powerful tool uh, to uh, quickly get a bunch of lineups, unique lineups, and get uh, what you, who you think are going to do well uh, and generate a bunch of lineups uh, that you can monitor. You can save the lineup. You'll get alerts on uh, if they're in the starting, uh, start, <laughs> starting lineup, or more importantly, if they're not, uh, if they're injured. Uh, those are all things uh, uh, to keep track of, and uh, Rotowire will help you stay informed for that. The other Basic features for fantasy cricket uh, to take advantage of are is the player news. Uh, we monitor every cricket player in the world. Uh, we do uh, injury news. So you can see here, Temba Bavuma has been injured. He's been ruled out of the first uh, match on Friday, which we talked about, which we just did the uh, optimizer for, uh, Australia uh, versus South Africa. So he's obviously not going to be in the lineup. Um, but we've got more of a breakdown here, what that means, what, that, what the injury is. Uh, we've got recaps on players, uh, transactions, if they're signing. Uh, obviously, this is another injury. Uh, we've got recaps on performances, so if you want to uh, look and see how somebody did. Uh, let's see, like, for example, this, this is a recap of this player's performance uh, in a recent game. We've also got player stats. Let's see, for example. We've got 
a quick summary of their T20 stats and their ODI stats, along with the Dream 11 uh, points per game. And you can see down here we've got it by format, we've got it by competition. But most importantly, we've got the game logs. So if you want to see how this player has been doing in the recent performance, you can see their recent batting performance, the recent fielding performance, and most importantly, their Dream 11 points. You can kind of get some trends there to see how, uh, how, how they've been doing recently uh, in each format and against opponents. We've also got articles. So for example, this South Africa versus Australia match, we've got uh, one of our top cricket writers. We've got their breakdown, analysis, pitch report, uh, some key performers to look at. Um, and uh, in addition, if, when you're reading them, uh, you can quickly move over to the player stats, see how they've been doing, look at their Dream 11 points as well. So the Rotowire Cricket tools uh, really have everything you need. Uh, news, what's going on with the players, when you really want to drill down and get some research on a player, figuring out what's up, what's up with the player, is he hurt, is he, is he going to be in the next series, the next match, uh, what are his recent stats, um, who's in the lineup, and then tools to help you figure out optimal lineups and unique lineups to help you win tournaments in all these formats. And it's not just Dream 11, which is obviously the most popular, but Gully Cricket, which is the uh, most recent product uh, that's available in the U.S., Crick Duel, Fantane, Halaplay, and others. And we hope to have more later on. So these are the Rotorara Cricket tools. I think they'll help you win. Please let us know any questions. We're trying to improve these all the time.